Today we're going to be in the 50s, and when we look at the difference, um, the um, difference or difference in temperature, if you will, between the highs today and the highs tomorrow, 28 degree difference. You know, no wonder everybody gets That's cold. sick. Yes, <laughs> I know. Up uh, and down, you know, and down. That's roller coaster. I already away. packed away my long johns, Ronnie. Yeah. Well, well, we'll get take them back down. down. You know, Dad, or get a date for Valentine's Day. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we're going to make the I think, flush. Yes. I know, we're trying. <laughs> I'm living now. Oh, David. As we take a look outside, you can see we've got plenty of clouds overhead. Relative humidity at 65%. The barometer's holding steady. Winds are out of the west. At 8 miles per hour, the winds are going to pick up today, most assuredly, and certainly uh, tomorrow morning as well. All right, here's what we're dealing with, a storm system that is uh, now over eastern Pennsylvania. i got to stop laughing here. It's over eastern Pennsylvania. We're going to get some light showers with it, very, very light showers, very little with this entire storm system. As it blows through the area late tonight, early tomorrow morning, amounts on precipitation, both rain, flurries, snow, light snow showers, if you will, less than a tenth of an inch. But out ahead of it again, some sprinkles, just one or two. The storm system should move through in the next two hours, at least the first part of it. Then the second part of the storm system will move through much later tonight, and it's with that part that the cold, cold air will move into the area. 28 degrees, the low temperature for tonight, and when that storm system moves through, we're likely to see a flurry or two as well. That's what's happening over the Midwest as we expand it back and take a look at what's happening in Minnesota. Some light snow, some light flurries as well. All through this area, when the storm system heads toward the south and east, it's going to plummet down into uh, portions of the mid-Atlantic states and really begin to cool off. But take a look at what's happening weather-wise in the central plains and also in the west. It is quiet, and it's going to be very, very quiet tomorrow. From coast to coast, hardly a drop is going to fall, but we are going to see a big change in temperatures throughout the nation. This time, the east coast will take a nosedive on temperatures. You can see where it will be set up tomorrow in the, or today in the teens and 20s. Over Maine, this air will truly come from Canada, and that means that it will be very even have a coating on the ground uh, come early tomorrow morning. Turning colder, that's the thing, and very, very windy. So wind chill temperatures, which you'll want to remember, in the single digits and below zero Monday morning. Tuesday, high temperature 24 degrees. Wednesday, it's 34. Clouds roll back into the area with another weak storm system on Wednesday and Thursday. Not a big deal either. It looks as though it'll be mostly rain. Here's your weather quiz question again. Can relative humidity be at 100% if it's not raining? What do yes. you say, Sarah? Yes. David, quickly. Come yes, because she's smarter than I. Yes? Okay, okay. You can see, see that's I know okay. That, that yes, yes, yes it can. Yeah. And that is when you have fog in the presence of fog, because fog is nothing more than a cloud just one step away from rain. We got that one today. Okay. Yeah, Quite a few points. I'm going to give you a quote star. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, are you hungry for love? Have we got a recipe for romance? Yeah, that recipe is about three restaurants that serve up an amorous atmosphere as well as delicious food. But chances are you may not even know they exist. Andrea John is here to tell you more about them. Andrea? Hi. We're on Restaurant Row in the heart of Manhattan's theater district, a whole street devoted to restaurants. But isn't it fun when you stumble upon a restaurant?